Well, there are a lot of potholes in the plan to fix the state roads. See what you did there? Yeah, you see that? In the plan? Yeah. That was good. Mm -hmm. Taxpayers are just learning about a plan that would put the state in the top five in the country for gas and diesel taxes. And our political reporter, Kevin Rader, tells us tonight that's not all. Kevin? Yeah, you too. A lot of Hoosiers are wondering tonight why a state that has long bragged of having a $2 billion surplus now has to raise taxes to fix the roads. We may take pride in bringing the crossroads of America, but our roads are in the crosshairs of taxpayers. I mean, a lot of people say that just because you're here and you have, like, the snow and stuff like that, that that's why the roads are bad, but that's nowhere near like that on the East Coast. Do you think it's worse here? Oh, yeah, definitely. Lawmakers have proposed a plan of tax increases that would cost taxpayers $5 a month on average, they say, to fix. I think the average Hoosier will tell you that, uh, that our roads are not in good shape. Uh, we're about to have a contest to uh, have folks identify their, uh, their worst pothole in their neighborhood or on, uh, on their commute to work. And uh, we're trying to figure out what prize. Well, everyone agrees something should be done to fix the roads. Not everyone agrees on how to do it. Democrats point out that while fuel tax and sales taxes are going up, corporate taxes are going down. This is bothering people. Um, if they're being asked to pay more, they think everyone ought to be paying more. Five dollars a what month for my taxes to take care of the roads. What are they doing already with the money that they're supposed to be getting from the casinos to take care of the infrastructure and the, tr and the roads? I don't know. And you know so why, do I want, why should I need to pay an extra five bucks is what I'm getting at. But the 10 cent fuel tax increase, according to the American Petroleum Institute, would also push Indiana to the fifth highest gas tax in the country and the second highest diesel tax, trailing only Pennsylvania. I mean, there's a bunch of like things that I... I could see my, like, I would want my tax dollars to go to other than what they're going to right now. But if it's something that I can use, like, you know, driving on safer roads and not having to worry about replacing something on my car, then I think that's okay. So Speaker Bosma says Republicans in the House and the Senate and the governor are all in lockstep on this. We'll keep following this to see if all of you taxpayers are. John? Now, there's still going to be a ways to go on this. Thank you. Kevin Rader at the State House tonight.